Knox Station was opened in 1869 on what was then known as the Ballyclocken Road. It's now known as the Knox Road. As we move through these old scenes, we see the station up platform with signal box and the station house in the background. We then see a train stopping at the down platform. BCDR employees are standing with the engine for the photographer. The train has now left the station and is heading countrywards towards Dundonald Station. This photo from the 1940s shows the down platform at Knock. The railway was closed in April 1950 and the track lifted and the line returned to nature. Fast forward to 2011, we see a group of people removing the undergrowth to uncover the down platform edges. Moving on to 2020, we again see small excavations of the down platform. This is in eight areas and was used to identify the remaining length of the platform. In this scene, we are heading backwards towards town, towards the Knock Road. This is the area beside the Northern Ireland Water. possibilities for Knox Station. It could be cleared like the platform at Needles Hill and perhaps station signs like this sign at Port Bloomfield could be erected. Perhaps seats and lighting could be installed as has been erected on the Cotswater Greenway. Here are a couple of examples of greenways on former railway lines in Great Britain. Let's enhance the experience for the Copper Greenway users cyclists and walkers alike.